Ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and droids across our beloved empire. This is Arnold Holonet News, the only news you'll ever need. Because you have no other choice. And we're giving a special shout out today to all of our Sith Lords who considered him formerly Darth, but now just Maul. We have the kit reveal for Maul out and about, courtesy of an early access review from Reality Skewed Gamers. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the video description if you wanna watch their initial early access review of Darth Maul, but I don't know about you guys. <laughs> this character's got me excited and it gives me a little bit of a Kylo Ren vibe where the more damage he's being dealt to himself, the more damage he's gonna be dealt to you. And do you wanna know what else we have more of? Gary, hit it! Hey kid, come here. Do you like free-to-play hero collector games that have amazing graphics, hundreds of characters to collect, millions of players? Well, then let me introduce you to our sponsor today, Raid Shadow Legends. To prove that Raid is pushing the boundaries of mobile games, they've recently partnered up with one of the biggest names in video gaming history, Ninja, to create his own brand new legendary champion. In Raid, Ninja was born of a noble Bannerlord warrior, where his life was spared as Shadowkin Raiders laid ways to his family's manor. He was then taken to the Shadowkin and raised as one of their own, where he would soon become one of the Shadowkin's greatest weapons to be unleashed on the evil Demon Span Horde. And everybody can get Ninja for free, but you only have until October 15th to get this limited edition champion. And if that's not enough, the raid just released a ton of new amazing clan features and improvements. There are brand new quests for you and your clan members to work on together. And even a brand new clan shop that gives you access to some incredibly powerful items. And this month also has new champions to collect from fragments in the Doom Tower and loads of events and combat. Competitions. I have another great champion that you can get for free if you scan my QR code or go to the links down below in the video description. And if you're a new player, you'll be getting an epic hero, Chonaru, 200,000 silver, one XP booster, one energy refill, and one ancient shard. All this treasure will be waiting for you right up here, but you gotta be quick because these rewards are only available for the next 30 days. So just a little bit of a reminder how Maul is going to work. This is not a legendary character, not epic confrontation character, but he is going to be a conquest exclusive character which means just like the razor crest and commander tano you gotta grind for quite a little bit to get this guy up and running and we've already kind of got a little bit of a teaser from a couple weeks ago but he's gonna be an attacker he's got the mandalorian tag and an underlying force user tag but no sith tag which shouldn't be too much a surprise that he kind of shed his connections to the Sith Lords. And another thing you may have missed from a couple weeks ago when we did the Road Ahead by review, there's going to be special synergy with Lord Vader. So very much similar to how Kenobi has that love life with Commander Ahsoka Tano and takes to a whole other level. Oddly enough, although I think it's kind of weird, for some reason, Maul's going to have that work with Lord Vader, that relationship like Commander Ahsoka Tano and Kenobi, even though Maul hated Anakin and kind of set out to try to kill him in the Clone Wars, but we're going to set aside their differences. For the moment here, Deadly Force user Usurper ability empowers the Mandalorian faction. I'm very interested in seeing this. Commander Sucker Town is a great plug and play in a variety of factions, Scoundrels, Galactic Republic. We see her kind of using a bunch of different lineups out there. And yeah, she's great with Je uh, Jedi Master Kenobi, but she can make some work happen in other interesting factions and bring them to life like Padme, Amidala. Mandalorians, not a very impressed and we have found some cute stuff to do with them in the lower area of uh, Grand Arenas. I'm wondering how high Maul is going to bring them up to par. And there's this new debuff anguish, which gives me a lot of strong reminders of Kylo Ren. When Kylo Ren first came to the game back in goodness, 2016, 2015, whatever it was, he was quite a powerful character. Makes Maul take damage at the start of his turns and gain offense equal to the amount of damage taken. Maul can consume anguish using his seeing a uh, seething rage ability. So Kylo Ren, those damage over time, ramp up his damage. Doesn't really hurt him much, but it just ramps up his speed and damage. Gives me a little bit of vibe with that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first ability that we have here, which is crushing below. <sighs> Deal physical damage to target enemy. If this is the first attack Maul uses this turn, Maul gains one stack of anguish. Stack with a max of five, and if it critically hits, Maul gains another stack of anguish. Anguish, anguish, anguish everywhere. And what does anguish do? 
takes damage at the start of their turn equal to two percent of their max health which is kind of like kylo ren but kylo ren doesn't take percent uh, damage uh, on him uh two percent of their max health for each stack of anguish and gains that much offense until the end of their turn this character can't be defeated by this damage so so the longer this battle rages on the more rageful the vengeful this mall is gonna become and i suspect some pretty serious damage commander sogatana can put out some pretty big damage even after that instant kill <laughs> oh she can still do some really great damage with that force ability and they actually were kind of to throw in some animations that we can see right here there we go limit of commander sogatana mall action going on right there so pretty nice but we gotta move on that's just the basic we're just getting started here ladies and gentlemen the next ability we have is fervent rush with the Zeta and a cooldown of three. You're gonna dispel all buffs on target enemy. Good. I always love buff dispels. Yeah, you know, it's like we talked about this the other day on stream. There's never a shortage uh, of uh there's never a surplus of free taunting tanks. You always want as many as possible. Buff dispels are always great. They have deal physical damage to all enemies and inflict offense down for two turns. All right, pretty basic right there. But this attack deals five percent more damage for each buff dispelled. And who has a lot of buffs right now? Who has probably the most buffs we've seen in a game in a long time? yeah 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 he's got a beard i hear he likes the highish end of the ground jedi master kenobi has tons of buffs on his team so imagine how this is gonna fuel maul's fury up against the man his damage and maul gains two stacks of anguish stacking with the max of five kind of build on top of what we saw in the basic if an enemy was defeated by this attack maul instead gains the maximum stacks of anguish so i like this it's a little bit of a throwback to the old school maul that we have if you remember with maul when he uh, is using his uh, abilities, he can uh, potentially keep connecting his damage over and, or his attacks over and over and over again. He gets a variety of bonuses, kind of a little bit of throwback to the mall that we already have in game. So it's nice kind of seeing they're keeping it a little connected to the mall that we already have inside of Star Wars Galaxies. And I believe we also have a little bit of an animation showcase. There it is. Let's go ahead and play it, Gary. Boom, boom. There it is. Boom, boom. So again, I like that they're kind of connecting the old mall that we have in the game. Similar in terms of animations and a little bit of a throwback to the abilities but here's where things get uh really really interesting seething rage zeta zero cooldown i believe i'm not i don't think that i don't think that's a misprint right there deal true damage the target enemy and inflict buffy for two turns if maul has five anguish increase the target enemy's cooldowns by two a uh, gary pull it up in the archives Yes, I know you didn't. I just kind of wanted you to do just just for fun. This is the highest cooldown increasing ability we have. Normally, everything's a single turn cooldown. Darth Nihilus, Treya, only one turn cooldown increases. Two turn cooldown increases. We're going to the next level here. Excludes Raid Boss and Galactic Legends. However, Maul loses one stack of anguish and takes a bonus turn. <gasps> this attack can't be countered each time this ability is used and it deals 60% more damage on subsequent uses and increases by an additional 60% until Maul uses a different ability during his turn. And this ability can't be used unless Maul has anguish. What did I say? This, this is character is literally a throwback to Maul's unique ability, Power of Hatred, where his all these bonuses start stacking, 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 and stacking, but it's going to the whole other level, baby! Oh, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Liking what I'm seeing. Can I get a little bit of an animation, please? Please and thank you. Oh, there we go. Let's back it up a little bit. All right, let's see. Well, you know, it's, it's all right. It's, it's, it's simple. Simple gets to the point. Simple gets to the point. I can't fault it too much. Let's move on to the next bit that we have over here, which is, oh boy. I hope you guys. <laughs> oh gosh. You know, I've read a lot of legal cases in my life. This almost seems like um, a pretty big dissertation right here. So hopefully you guys graduated from Galaxy of Heroes University right here. Leader ability, Usurper, which is something Commander Sakatana did not have. She did not have a leader ability, which is a little bit controversial. I thought, I think there definitely could have been an argument to give her a leader ability, but this is going to really help out those Mandalorians. Mandalorian allies have 5% max health for each Mandalorian ally at the start of the battle and plus 25% offense. We got to double check the unique abilities on our Mandalorians in game. We'll do that later on in the video here. And at the start of the battle, if Maul is in the leader slot and not the ally slot, Mandalorians in the leader slot gain one stack of Mandalore, stacking with a maximum two until they are defeated, which can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented. And when a character with Mandalore is defeated, 
The character that defeated them gains Mandalore until they're defeated. So there's this little pass. It's kind of like passing around the dark saber. Almost. There can't be more than two Mandalore effects in battle, and Mandalore and allies deal 20% more damage when they target an enemy with Mandalore. And then while there are geez, Mandalore, 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 while there are two Mandalore buffs uh, uh, on allied characters. All Mandalorian allies deal 50% more damage during their turn. And then Mandalore, what does it mean? Mandalorian allies assist deal 50% less damage when this character uses an ability during their turn and at the start of every turn. This is the fun stuff. This spell all debuffs on the healthiest Mandalorian ally without Mandalore and that ally gains taunt and 100% defense until the end of that turn defeating this character will grant mandalore to the character that defeated him if this character is defeated by status effect mandalore will not be granted to anyone so here's a few things i'm seeing here that really makes me curious how does mandalore and vax is going to be working in the near future here uh we've been playing around boca trash armor elite or armor trash or something she's not trash armor is pretty decent in this game but the, one of the problems with Mandalorian is, yeah, they have this cool self-cleanse possibility uh, with uh, bo Trash's lead, but mm, it would be nice if there was more of a passive way to make characters taunt on the team, and boom. There we go. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of ways to keep taunts up, running on the field, and the spelling debuffs and them passively. Like, passive debuff cleansing is huge. Connected to the lead, I'm liking the way that is sounding right now. Is it going to be enough to take Mandalorians to another level? Mm, we might have to wait and see. Uh, I feel like a lot is needed to really take Mandalorians to the next level. But hey, you know, this might be the first step in that direction. You got a huge damage dealing character. You got ways to pass we cleanse, get taunts up and up and running. Where are they going to be? Are they top 10 team, top 15 team? Right now, Mandalorians, I don't know if they're really considered top 25 team but we'll have to wait and see i'm really looking forward to mandalorians getting a little bit of love unique one bound by hatred with the zeta ability maul's attacks are unavoidable and he has 15 percent offense and at the start of the battle maul gains frenzy and retribution for two turns and three stacks of anguish stack with the max of five if there is an enemy kenobi maul instead gains the maximum stacks of anguish boom right away and while maul has three or more stacks of anguish he is immune to stuns ability block and while maul has five stacks of anguish he ignores taunt and is always critically hit by enemy attacks oh <laughs> catch 22 situation happening right here so first things first i i, I really want to just legitimately see a kenobi tag i don't know if they're actually gonna physically add a tab that just has kenobi's filled in there might be just more of a hidden type of code but it's cool seeing now we have specific call outs to enemy characters on the other side of the field with that Kenobi tag being built in to Maul's kit. I'm liking they're bringing that lore and the hatred that Maul had for Kenobi. And once he sees him right off the get-go, boom, maximum of five stacks of anguish, immune to stuns and ability block, almost takes him to a galactic legend style territory where you can't stun you can't ability block some things out there that's huge right there because stuns and ability box are some of the biggest kickers to control or at least ability box are some of the biggest most important ways to control galactic legends from using their big abilities well maul basically has ability block immunity <sighs> which is kind of a first that we've had in the game right now so big stuff right there but it sounds like he's going to be an ultimate glass cannon anguish making him deal more damage to himself being able to be critically hit so he seems like a monster that can be put down a little bit easy if you ask me and i believe let's move a little forward here i believe they also have a little bit of a trailer that we can play right here beautiful this has been one of those characters been requested for a very long time in star wars galaxy of heroes robo legs mall Finally coming to Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. Uh, I, I, it sounds like a lot of fun on paper. I think really the biggest part of Maul's kit is just going to be how much damage he's going to be pushing out throughout the course of the battle with the anguish. It's hard. There's not that big uh, selling point that you could see initially. Commander Sogatano insta kill immediately turn one. That's kind of a big thing that you could read off the kit. So it's going to be hard to see where's Maul's moment going to shine. But I think it's that anguish, the damage ramping that's going to be on him. And especially since there's a lot of Kenobis lurking around out there. I think that's going to be really the biggest selling point of it. I really want to see how is Lord Vader going to juice him up. We'll have to wait and see. We're still waiting on that Lord Vader kit reveal. The final requirements are coming out later on this week for Lord Vader. But man, Maul, it's a pleasure seeing you, buddy. It's going to take about two, three months to get him on the hollow table. So it's going to seem like it's going to follow roughly how we got 
our Commander Sokotano. Kenobi came out, and then a few short weeks later, Commander Sokotano came out just in time to buff up that team just a little bit more. One thing I want to ask you guys, we'll have to wait and see how Maul pairs up with Lord Vader. Is it going to be something insane like Commander Sokotano and Jedi Master Kenobi? I got to say this. I feel like older Galactic Legends may be at a disadvantage because they didn't get any special unique character. I don't know, an apprentice or a sidekick, if you will, that really takes their team to the next level. So we'll have to wait and see. There's a lot of plans for Galactic Legends in the future. And we got the great nerfs of 2021 happening this week. So a lot of stuff happening, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Droids. Let me know your thoughts of Maul down below in the comment section. <laughs> and make sure you're liking and subscribing because let me tell you, it's great to be in the empire today and it's great seeing you guys for one more video and how about this i'll catch you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and let's just say it one more time it's great to be in the empire today hey, hey! how did you get in here babu